All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm going to continue with my series of history um, shorts. With all thanks to Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. Gregory Brown, um, and as an homage to the year 1619, where the first slave ship were brought to the Americas and landed in Virginia. I want to pay homage to my ancestors by remembering and exposing their stories, uh, shining light on their stories, and hoping that it'll help you understand how we got here a little better. Thomas Jefferson was a really serious freaking psychopathic hypocrite. He was one of the worst psychopath um, narcissists that you could possibly think of. Um, I don't honor him at all. And he's not anything worth anybody <laughs> that, well, let me just go ahead. Thomas Jefferson's harsh view of black Americans, whom he considered inherently inferior to whites, did not extend to American mm -hmm. Indians. Jefferson was willing to contemplate a white Indian amalgamation. Amalgamation. Yeah, that's because they were, they were on their land. They had weapons. We were the only ones brought away and placed. Um, in speaking of the Indians, he said in 1803, we shall properly find that they are formed in mind as well as body on the same model with the homo sapiens, Europeans. In truth, the ultimate point of rest and happiness for them is to let our settlements and theirs meet and blend together to intermix and to become one people. At the same time, he left his own children to die as slaves while the advertisement was run in a Richmond newspaper. See, this is a psychopath. You go another psychopath. 32 Negroes will be offered for sale Monday, November 10th at 12 o'clock p.m. being the entire stock of the late John Gray. The Negroes are in good condition, some of them very prime. Among them are several mechanics, able-bodied field hands, plowboys, and women and children at the breast, and some of them very prolific in their generating qualities, affording a rare opportunity to anyone who wishes to raise a strong and healthy lot of servants for their own use. Although the several mulatto girls of rare personal qualities, two of them are superior. Any gentleman or lady wishing to purchase can make any of the above slaves on trial, can take any of the slaves above on trial for a week, for which no charge will be made. Now check this out. Among the slaves that were about to be sold, Two of them was President Thomas Jefferson's mulatto daughters, Clotel and Althesa. He approved of these two girls being advertised as very superior for breeding. Worse even still, y'all. Worse yet. Oh, my God. This dirty dog allowed them to be sold off into prostitutions and as mistresses. The hypocritic, psychotic founder of this country. One of them, at least. And this is the history that y'all don't acknowledge about your madness. We can't afford y'all psychosis no more. The damage that you've done to the human family with the psychosis that you guys have pushed on us is too far. Think about it. 